How's it going guys? It's Josh here and welcome to the 3000 subscriber Q&A special. Um, I'm really sorry it's been a while. I uh, have a full time job as well as doing YouTube so yeah, find the time to juggle it all together is, uh, is quite difficult but um, it's here now so here we go. Uh, first of all I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to you guys for 3000 subscribers. Really does mean a lot. Uh, when I started out with YouTube I just kind of did it to see what would happen. I never thought we'd be here. Um, and it was all thanks to you guys, so thank you. So without further ado, let's get into the Q&A. Now there's so many questions that uh, what I did was I kind of put them into categories and because a lot of them are very similar as well, I'm just going to answer a few from each category. So hopefully this works out, otherwise the video would probably be like eight hours long. But here we go. So first section about me. How tall are you? Uh, about five foot ten, 175 centimeters. Where are you from? UK. Uh, does your family support what you're doing on YouTube? And if so, do you plan to do YouTube full-time or do you already have another source of income? Uh, as I said, I do have a full-time job. I live at home, pay rent. Uh, my family, they, they like my videos, if that counts. Um, as regards doing YouTube full-time, we'll just see how it goes. How old are you and what was your first keyboard? I'm 21. First keyboard was this thing. Um, yeah, this, this thing. It was uh, part of a keyboard and mouse wireless set. Um, it's pretty terrible. I thought I'd uh, jazz it up at one point with a uh, G skill RAM sticker to make it look cool. Uh, now it just kind of sits over there on my sofa as like a wireless keyboard to use. What is your full time work? I'm a guitar teacher, so I go into schools and to people's houses and teach them guitar. It's really fun. Some questions about equipment then. What was your first microphone? Uh, the Rode NT1A, I originally got it for uh, recording vocals for like songs and things, it's a condenser mic and it's good. Hi, what camera do you use to record these videos? A Galaxy S7 smartphone camera. Ever consider changing to a GH5? Uh, I assume you mean the Panasonic GH5? Um, if I was going to upgrade my camera, I'd probably either, it'd be a toss up between the GH6 and the Canon 80D. Um, and I will be looking to upgrade a camera soon, so yeah, that'll be good. Uh, some questions about goals for YouTube. What's your subscriber goal by the end of 2017? Uh, 10,000 would be amazing. What is your YouTube goal? Uh, I've always thought 100,000 subscribers is like, I don't know, that would be my ultimate goal. Uh, you get the plaque and everything, it just seems really cool. Do you think you would get this far? I've said this before, no, not at all. Uh, I just started it to see what would happen really. And then when I hit 100 subscribers, that was amazing, and here we are at 3,000. 3,438 to be precise. Uh, what would you predict your YouTube channel status in a year? Very difficult to say. Um, YouTube's strange in the way uh, stuff... Ow. Ah, oh, seriously, my tablet has just turned off. It does that, randomly. Um, yeah, it's hard to say. Stuff gains popularity really randomly. So, uh, yeah, no idea. Uh, while it does turn back on, uh, I got an Oculus Rift last week and it's really, really good. Uh, I had the Samsung Gear VR before and I was pretty impressed with that, but yeah, the Oculus Rift has blown me away. Uh, it really is a good piece of kit. Oh man, this thing's got the boot time of... If you can think of anything to go on the end of that sentence, let me know in the comments. Okay, it's working. Uh, moving on to hobbies, do you play an instrument or play any sports? Obviously I play guitar because I'm a guitar teacher. Um, I also play piano and I absolutely love drums as well. I've been playing them about a year now. I'll put some videos if I can find some uh, now, like some clips of me playing if you want to see them. What's your favourite genre of music? Uh, at the moment I absolutely love Trap, uh, Trap Nation on YouTube, check them out, really good channel. Uh, do you like soccer? If so, what's your favourite team? Um, no, I kind of lost interest in soccer at the age of 10 when I started playing guitar. Uh, I used to quite like playing football and watching it and stuff like that, but yeah, then I kind of focused all my energy into music, so yeah, I've never really been interested in it since. Uh, inspiration then, a lot of these are very, very similar. Uh, basically, what inspired you to start YouTube? Um, basically, just watching all of the tech channels. I've always loved watching all the tech channels, and I've always been the sort of person that looks at something and thinks, how how can I do that? And then, yeah, that was what inspired me, really, to just make my first video, and then, yeah, keep on going. Another very interesting question from this section. 
Uh, what keeps you motivated to make YouTube videos? Uh, literally, you guys. Uh, sometimes like it's really hard to, to, to make videos sometimes and to juggle it with work and everything. But then when I do upload a video and I get absolutely amazing comments from you guys, it just makes it all worth it. So thank you. Some questions about the setup. Basically, what's your dream setup? Or if you could have any person set up in the world, whose would it be and why? Um, this, pretty much. There's a lot of different opinions on what is the best setup. Some people love ultra wides. Some people love a double monitor setup. Uh, I love the triples and have a top monitor to like sit on the sofa and play games. But some people don't like that. So, yeah. But this this is my 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 dream setup. Someone asked, are you happy with it? Uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Questions about gaming. What was your first console? Uh, Nintendo 64. How did you get into gaming? I started off in Nintendo 64, then got a PS2, then got an Xbox 360, and then got a PC. What got you into PC gaming specifically? Uh, this is an interesting one. I had an Xbox 360 at the time, and I thought the games on it looked amazing. And then I went over to a mate's house, he had a PC and had exactly the same games as me, and they looked like 10 times better. So yeah, I was pretty jealous, and then I was like, right, we need to get a PC. Uh, what games are you enjoying at this moment? Uh, at the moment, I picked up Forza Horizon 3 the other day. Uh, that looks absolutely amazing, the graphics, and also Elite Dangerous. I've been playing that on the Oculus Rift quite a lot at the moment, and that's an amazing game as well. What's your favourite game of all time? Good question. Mirror's Edge, uh, interestingly. I love the first one, I love the second one as well, I know a lot of people didn't. Uh, what's a piece of technology that's coming out that you're excited about? Uh, in general, VR. I'm really excited to see where VR goes in the future. Uh, and it'll also, I think, change the whole industry because uh, graphics cards have got a long, long way to go before they're affordable enough to uh, catch up with the screens that they can put in these things. So, yeah, I think uh, I'll be interested to see where VR goes. That'd be awesome. Nearly there now. Some questions about keyboards and PCs. Uh, what's the minimum price tag, do you think, to build a gaming computer? Very good question. Not really answerable. Personally, I think like a GTX 1060 or RX 480 are the minimum kind of specs you would want to go for for a graphics card. I guess you could do a good gaming PC for around £500, like that you'd be really happy with. Uh, can you tell us some pros and cons about the GT Racer? I think you're getting the DX Racer and the GT Omega mixed up, but the GT Omega is a great chair, uh, no complaints. What's your favourite mechanical switch? Blue switches, I just love them because they're clicky and they sound cool. Uh, what are the specs of your first ever PC and what are the specs of your current PC? Uh, first ever PC I had had an AMD FX4000 for 1000 uh, processor, which wasn't too bad, had 4 gigs of RAM and it had uh, no graphics card. So yeah, I used it for music editing. Nowadays, I've got a GTX 1080, which is amazing. Uh, I've got an i5-6500 Skylake, which is adequate. I might upgrade it at some point though, and 16 gigs of RAM. So yeah, we've definitely upgraded through the years. I'd love to do some like PC mod soon as well, like uh, get everything color coded and everything like that. That would be cool. And the final section, just some miscellaneous questions. Uh, when did you join NASA? About eight months ago. Well, that's when the shirt came through the post anyway from eBay. Uh, what's the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Very good question. 24 miles per hour. You can check if you want. How did you come up with the name Tech Tesseract? Is Tesseract from uh, Marvel? Yeah, actually. It ca kind of is. I've always been like interested in space and science and stuff. Uh, a Tesseract is like a four-dimensional hypercube. So... Yeah, it just sounded cool, and it's alliteration with with tech, like T T tech, tech. You get the idea. So yeah, I just thought it sounded cool. If you blew up your computer, would you either a take up croutons as a hobby, or b play hide and seek on your own for the next seventy years? I play hide and seek on my own for the next seventy years. That it does sound pretty good. If you could have one piece of technology released in twenty seventeen, what would it be? Probably the Galaxy S eight, but I'm kind of happy with the S seven and I'm not really due to upgrade till next year, so I'll probably pick up the S9. Final question, what's your favorite color RGB lighting? RGB, uh, these things, you can't do this with normal LED strips, but these are dream color LED strips. Um, but yeah, why, why choose one color when you can have them all? So anyway, guys, thank you so much for all the support that you've given me. Uh, thank you for 3,000 subscribers. Uh, we're gonna do the giveaway now, let's do it.
So we're going to use this random YouTube comment picker to pick a winner. Let's uh, load up the comments. And uh, here we go. Alrighty, so Hope, you have won the mechanical keyboard. So Hope, congratulations. I've uh, sent you a message on YouTube. Uh, just send us your address and we'll get that sent out to you. Once again, guys, thank you so much for all the support. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you all in the next video.